We're broadcasting live from New Sin Stadium in Nashville, home of the Lycans and the world capital of country music. Oh, I just love country music, Grim. All of some sweet song about a man's family or his dog. Or how he had sex with all of them. There's my smokes. Remember, in the MFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Midway Mutants battle. The Nashville Lycans. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hey. about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. I'm pretty sure my baby sister can throw further than that, but she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. Third down and eight. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Let's see if he beats the boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. hot. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, right now what day is it if there were any functioning brain cells before that hit they're gone now he's gonna have the iq of a rutabag after that hit second down and a lot hot one hot two hot 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 he is fighting for every yard oh now the offense is getting kills uh, this is a really violent game guys it's bad <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. 
They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. No silver bullets gonna bring them. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Not, not one. And that play went nowhere fast. No gain. Second down and ten. Not, not one. It was a risky throw, and the defense made him pay. He'll have to hope for amnesia or brain damage and move on. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. And most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Second down and more than the QB would like. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the... He's not going down! And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time! Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Wow! <laughs> First and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. 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 Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And that'll be second down and four. And he's trying to pick up three on a short pass. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Time to see if this is an elite kicker. Can he kick through a cement wall? And yeah, probably not bricks. And he's not elite. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's 
It's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. Yeah, they're all in politics, apparently. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Second and three. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And that'll be second and eight to go. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. That's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Hot two, hot three. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down and long. Hot one, three. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. Bingo, bingo, I just hit that mutant bingo. Was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Yeah. <laughs>
The offense is down to their last running back. No risk for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. And he misses that extra point. Oh, well, look at clown shoes down there. Is he wearing actual clown shoes? I think so. It's probably why he missed. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Glenn? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and six. Hot. Hot one. Hot. The defender says, I don't think so. Third down and six. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. That ball was almost intercepted. And they'll line up for the punt here. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. The return man kept back, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. <laughs> First and ten. <laughs> Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. The 20. Here comes the defense. Touchdown! <laughs> Take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. for a first down. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. Yeah, it was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. First down and three. Okay, nice and easy like a 
two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. No silver bullets gonna bring them. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Man, will you tell the interns to get us some franken dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, looks like a pee for me, too. Hot two. Hot three. And then Cats will give them a first down. Now, I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. <laughs> And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out during halftime. And it's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. for it and the defense is licking their mutant lips and the QB decides to throw the ball away and it's first and ten if there were any functioning brain cells before that hit they're gone now he's gonna have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit Second down and seven. And he shoveled his feet so well on that play, he should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for.
It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Uh, uh, we're going to go to a strip show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. And he punched his way out of that tackle. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first to ten. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusive but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? Hot, hot, hot. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. One, hot, two, hot. Second down and more than the QB would like. Man, what a hit that was! Third down and long. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gord, did it? How good can it be? Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Uh oh, 
doing? He just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Oh, look at this guy. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, monster hit. Scratch him off the roster. He's a... Oh, my God. A man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. At this point, with multiple interceptions, pow, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Wrestling? Second down and five. Hey. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. The offense has no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies when you get knocked down you got to get right back up and fight uh, what about when you get knocked up what do you do then run First and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. 
Giants. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. First down, so now they have to punt. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, throw me. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he snags the punt and looks back, my friends. Was an all pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Oh man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I got to see that again. I had a kid once like that walking down the sidewalk, texting with his earbuds in. Freaked him out. He said, hey, what'd you do that for? I said, I did you a lesson. What lesson, he said, that unless you're a baboon with big baboon balls, you gotta pay attention. Yeah, along well, the jungle, you know. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have been there. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. He thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. It turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Two. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And he was steering a pick six, but deception. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let oh, man. He just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Second down and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third and four. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. 
Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know who was throwing interceptions, but when... Oh, man, Brooks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. That's always cause for celebration. Yeah. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole! Second down and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Third down and ten. Excuses for this QB. You just. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Don't you just love the sound of the bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when the... Boom, dead and down! Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and, oh, uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Oh, what a brutal hit! And that'll bring up second and one. He could go all the way!
They stop the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. He's rumbling. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. They're getting on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a saw up right on this asshole. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot tight. Give me the bottle. So I shoved up your ass. Quite the description of that painful hit, Junior. Huh? No, no, it's a question here on this online dating profile. It doesn't say if on purpose or by accident. Yeah, I'll leave it blank. A timeout is called by the defense to stop the clock. They have one remaining. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 90.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well.